つかな Mostly this way. Yeah. Okay. Leave the right. Not too far. You don't have to go too far. まあそうですね、要するにゴールのあれですから、うん、あの気がしですからどんな言葉でもゴール,、はい、ゴールでもいいなゴールはい誰でもいいね表現あれしてますと落ちても少しぐらいあるんだと思います、ね。わ、うん、かるよね。はい。で、あの、それこそ英語も下ダブルでやりますんで、下ダブルで。それでもしあの変なとこあったらどうせ東京で聞いてると思いますんで、あの音声調整できると思いますし、その辺は。
ターミネーションってフィニッシュメントあどうやってやるんですかフィニッシュメントとターミネーションフィニッシュメントはちょっとこれはあ違うはいあの終わりになっちゃう、ね、あそうか全部終わっちゃう、はい、これ一段目だからねそうエルケアンアッオーモストエンドバインシャルキュニピカップニュースペーパーでも私15秒かと思ってましたけど大丈夫ですあれ何メートルに動かないといけないそのエネルギーをキープしてくれた問題だからね,ねあれやっぱお湯にするんでしょ、うん、どうやってキープするんだろうねなかなかその施設は大変だよ、ねうん、水力発電所ってダム作ってキープしてくれたけどな2回目やっぱりちょっと緊張したねそうですね。さすがに。あ、緊張
、差し出がましいですけど、あのどんな格好でもあれいたします、上限いたしますんで、はい、もう本当にお手軽にお手軽にしてなんか向こうもそのリラックスムードの方がですね、うん、自分のスタイルなんですね、うん、天皇陛下スタイルよりも。うんうんこういうね、and the prospect of the disarmament and future develop and of future progress of the, the attack between the United States and the US and the Soviet Union and the Soviet Union. Disarmament and. So, this is the one I'm going Yeah, so that people are listening to me. Do you want to start the president's way? Are you all okay? Mm-hmm. I'm going to take it. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you, sir. I think I met uh, at uh, March of 77. Yeah. Just you came in the White House. You gave us a chance to make your administration and the White House. It got very nice rating at that time. Well, I'm very glad to hear that. And, and I look、uh, forward、mm. to this visit. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your time and、uh, interest to Japanese. Yeah. Am I going to have a microphone? Okay. <laughs> I think you lost the weight since、uh, 77. <laughs> My... <laughs> I've lost about 10 pounds last year. I haven't lost any this year. I'm most grateful to you for giving us this opportunity to make an interview with you in spite of the very tight schedule between Vienna Talks and t o k y o Summit. <laughs> Well, it's a great opportunity for me、yeah. to be able to talk to the Japanese people, and I look forward to the interview.、Oh, thank you. Thank you. Anyway, first of all, please accept our congratulations on the successful termination of Seoul to Talks and the, the signing of the accord is a debut for to,、uh, Many years of your effort. I, <clears throat> we Japanese wish to express deep satisfaction and、uh, thanks to you, Mr. President. We believe that this new agreement between ourselves and the Soviet Union will not only help our own two nations to have a more peaceful future, but also will be a great contribution、mm. to the entire world、mm. to limit armaments. And to、uh, lead toward peace. And in this question, yes, could you tell me a little more concretely the future image of the world peace and the prospect of disarmament? There is no doubt that both we and the Soviet Union are determined to control armaments in the future. Both nations. Will stay strong. My most important responsibility is to guarantee the security、mm. of the United States of America and also the security of our allies and to protect our interests. So, within a realm of strength,、uh, we will reduce armaments on both sides, particularly nuclear weapons, and we hope that other nations will join us、uh, in this commitment in years to come. How's your feeling right now or after returning from、uh, meeting with Mr. Brezhnev down there? Well, I'm very pleased with the、uh, results of the Vienna talks, but now I'm thinking almost exclusively about the、uh, happy prospect of、uh, being in Japan.、Uh-huh. This is a very exciting thing for me. I don't think there's any doubt that、uh, our close relations with、uh, the people of Japan. And the prospect for the economic summit there is one of the most important、uh, and exciting responsibilities that I have. I see.、Oh, for the keeping the world peace, 
Yes. Japanese people more concerned with the elimination of the causes of the war yes. than rather than the maintenance of the balance of powers. What kind of role do you expect Japanese in for world peace? The close relationship between the United States and Japan is important not only for the economic prosperity of the people of both countries, but it's also a great uh, stabilizing factor in maintaining world peace. For any uh, other nation to look upon uh, this close friendship and close alliance in trade, commerce, culture, security, science, education, tourism, between the United States and Japan, it gives the uh, accurate feeling of mutual strength and mutual confidence, and I think tends to uh, provide peaceful relationships uh, throughout Asia and indeed uh, throughout the world. So the sharing of all these experiences and all these uh, prospects for the future between the United States and Japan is certainly a major contributing factor uh, to peace. Now uh, you completed two, uh, two historical things, one in the uh, uh, Middle East, yes. now uh, talk with the uh, leader of Soviet Russia. And uh, Japanese people now expecting you are coming to Japan. Uh, what do you now uh, in mind uh, to, uh, to accomplish when you come to Japan, sir? I think the highlight of my visit will be uh, personally to meet the uh, emperor. I'm excited about this and uh, have long had a great admiration for him as the uh, as, a, as a center of uh, the uh, Japanese nation and as an image of the preservation of a beautiful culture of Japan and the dynamic growth of Japan in meeting uh, modern challenges and uh, modern opportunities. Uh, he's an admirable person uh, from, uh, from the viewpoint of Americans because he's a, a beautiful poet and also, of course, because of his uh, superb accomplishments as a marine biologist and because of what he represents uh, accurately in the character of the Japanese people. So I would say meeting the emperor is something that I look forward to with great anticipation. Also to renew my friendship with uh, Prime Minister Ohira, whom I've met uh, on my one brief visit to Japan in 1975, and who came here in May to uh, explore possibilities for alleviating all the problems between us and for shaping a more firm future between uh, Japan and the United States. And I think one of the most uh, enjoyable prospects is just to get to know the Japanese people. I will be bringing my wife, Rosalind, and my daughter, Amy, uh, to Japan, and we hope to take every opportunity to uh, have personal contact and establish personal friendship uh, with the people of Japan. Obviously, the economic summit is a great tribute to Japan and is a recognition of the uh, economic and social and political leadership of Japan uh, in the councils of uh, world governments. And this uh, is a great tribute to the present and past leaders of Japan that the economic summit is being conducted there. We will be exploring the problems of energy, uh, the monetary system, uh, trade, commerce, security. I think the uh, most important uh, single uh, issue to be resolved uh, in Japan at the economic summit is probably that of uh, energy. And we look forward to exploring new ways to deal with this challenge for us all. At the summit in Tokyo, you will introduce some uh, proposal for the, for the solution of the energy problem. Yes. I have a great advantage in uh, being there uh, two days before the economic summit begins. So Prime Minister Ohira and I will be discussing a, uh, a common uh, program to present to the other leaders. Obviously, we will have to uh, 
explore new ways to conserve energy, to cut down on waste, and to reduce our dependence in the future on imported oil. We'll also have to uh, evolve a common approach to the oil exporting countries so that they will provide a stable supply of oil and minimize the increase in prices in the future. There's a wonderful opportunity for us to explore uh, other forms of energy, uh, coal, uh, solar uh, power, and technological advances mm -hmm. in which uh, Japan and the United States and others can cooperate in the future. What we want is uh, predictability, uh, conservation, new uh, sources of energy, and closer consultation and cooperation between our countries. And these are some of the ideas that I will be exploring first with Prime Minister Ohira and then with the other leaders of the uh, nations who will be at the Economic Summit. You said a uh, joint proposal uh, with Prime Minister Ohira. Yes. You have uh, already made up a uh, concrete proposal or uh, you're in a planning session. Can you uh, elaborate on that uh, a little bit before you come to our country, sir? Well, we have obviously explored many of these ideas uh, in preparation for the Economic Summit. But I'm sure that, that he and I will make them more firm and more concrete during the uh, two or three days immediately before the summit conference. And uh, I will look forward to learning uh, from him as a great leader. And I'm sure that the Japanese leaders will want to know the American position also before the Economic Summit uh, commences. But uh, all the nations involved in this summit will be sharing these uh, proposals and uh, decisions. And I believe that the uh, Tokyo meeting will go down in history as the first multinational uh, conference at which the energy question has been explored uh, so deeply. It's long overdue. This is a wonderful opportunity for us all. Any kind of the binding uh, the proposal would be uh, put uh, for the conference? I mean, uh, just being binding? Uh, yes, obviously, no nation can impose its will on the other. Oh. But we have already uh, made a decision during 1979 to reduce uh, our dependence on imported oil by two million barrels per day, all of us nations put together. And we will then be exploring uh, in Tokyo how to extend this conservation effort to 1980 and to subsequent oh. years. And uh, most importantly, how we can cooperate with each other in building up the supplies of alternative uh, sources of energy in addition to the fossil fuels. What about nuclear energy? Our country derives about 12 percent of all electricity from atomic power. And we will obviously have to rely upon atomic power in the future years as well. In nuclear power and in the use of coal, we obviously uh, will want to increase the uh, safety uh, of both uh, sources of energy and also to reduce uh, any damage to the quality of air and water. So as we explore additional sources of energy, nuclear, coal, solar, we will want to have more efficiency, more safety, and a cleaner environment. Next, Mr. President, I would like to ask your opinion about the relationship between United States and Japan, yes. particularly in the time of economic problems. Never in the history of the world have two nations had such massive economic relations as the United States and Japan, separated by an ocean or they were not uh, contiguous one to another. We look upon the Pacific Ocean not as an obstacle to trade, but as a tremendous highway to let us yes. transfer our goods back and forth. Because of the uh, enormous trade that we uh, have between us, obviously on occasion some problems do arise because we're both highly technological nations, we have uh, advanced science, we have hardworking people, we have innovations, and sometimes we sell the same products and we compete with one another. 
But in a democracy, when people are free, as is the case with Japan and the United States, we don't conceal uh, problems. We put them on the table, and we discuss them openly, and uh, we resolve them. In a totalitarian country, these problems would never be known. They would fester like a sore. But between us and Japan, we address them without fear. And uh, they become highly publicized. But we should never forget that we have tremendous uh, areas of agreement and tremendous areas of, uh, of common benefit. And so compared to the benefits and the agreements, the problems are very minor. But the problems are the, are the issues which get uh, publicized. I think uh, in Prime Minister O'Hara's visit to uh, Washington uh, in May, we made great progress in trying to resolve the few differences between us. And we'll continue to make progress on my visit to, uh, to Japan. But uh, no one should ever forget uh, how close we are together and how many agreements we have. And no one should ever be fearful about our publicly discussing the problems, because that's a way to resolve problems between friends. Now, uh, many Japanese has been very encouraged by your remarks in uh, talk with Mr. Ohira. Yes. And the people know the uh, upcharge of protectionists in your country, but your administration uh, are trying nice to us and encouraging us to have a good relationship. Do you have any ideas uh, much further to develop the good, uh, good relationship? I mean, uh, what uh, we can do to promote or to maintain this relationship for both countries? Yes. Yesterday, I presented to uh, the Congress of the United States the uh, results of the so-called Tokyo Round of discussions and multilateral trade negotiations. And I have uh, confidence that the Congress will adopt this proposal uh, without delay. <coughs> this is a guarantee that uh, now and in the future years that uh, protectionist barriers will not be raised around our country or around Japan and other nations. We want to have maximum openness and freedom of trade because we can uh, not only compete with one another uh, successfully, but we derive enormous benefits uh, from one another. I think that the uh, trade imbalance uh, has been a problem in the past. There is still some problem there. We buy much more from Japan than we sell to you. But uh, I think that we have recognized this uh, problem and without disturbing the economy of either nation, we are addressing the problem successfully. There is uh, still a need for us to continue to explore ways of increased uh, trade. Uh, from my part uh, of the country, uh, we produce uh, agricultural products, uh, citrus, uh, beef, uh, timber, uh, plywood, uh, coal, and we export these kinds of products to uh, Japan along with many others, and of course we buy great uh, quantities from you as well. But uh, in both cases, we uh, see our consumers benefiting from a plentiful supply of goods at low cost. We have to protect our own industry, as do you. And this is sometimes uh, creating uh, conflict, but those conflicts are being resolved successfully, and the uh, Tokyo Round of reducing barriers of protectionism is a major step forward in the right direction. Thank you. Uh, anyway, U.S. policy, foreign policy, on the Far East, uh, from my point of view, uh, has been so practical and flexible since the end of the Vietnam War. Yes. For us, therefore, it's a rather difficult to understand what is the goal of your policy for those Far East. And uh, in connection with this, yes. could you tell me your policy on the China? Yes. Our ultimate goal is peace mm. in the uh, Far East. We share this goal with Japan. Our second goal is uh, better relationships 
among the nations involved, our country and all those who occupy the uh, Far East uh, area of the world. Again, we share the same goal with Japan. We want increased trade, more attention given to uh, basic human rights, to freedom, to democracy, to openness, to the exchange of goods and uh, people. We share all these uh, goals with Japan. We want security for our people. We share this goal also with Japan. The American uh, military presence in the Far East will be sustained, and uh, this is good for our people and good for the people of Japan. We want to share experiences and share ideas and share information uh, with the people and the leaders of Japan. I've been very pleased that we have improved our relationships uh, since I've been in, in the uh, White House with India, uh, with the Southeast Asian nations, with the Philippines, uh, obviously with uh, the People's Republic of China. We have tried to strengthen the ASEAN uh, nations as well as an organization recognizing their independence and strengthen our ties with uh, New Zealand and Australia. We will maintain the stability uh, of the uh, Korean uh, Peninsula. My own judgment is that history will show the great benefits of normalized relationships with uh, China. We have not let the uh, the uh, well-being of the people of Taiwan uh, suffer. Uh, my belief is that those uh, citizens of Taiwan will still be uh, secure. We'll still have a trade with them, uh, recognizing the People's Republic of China, however, as a government of China. I think that uh, our new relationship with China can be a stabilizing factor and not only between China and Japan, China and other a Asian nations, but also between China and the Soviet Union. We want to see uh, peaceful relationships between countries who have in the past been uh, potential adversaries. So in, in every way, I think that our uh, place in the Far East is, is uh, sound and firm and uh, more stabilizing, more peaceful, and will uh, give a better life to the people in that region of the world. In, in connection with that, uh, some people, particularly in the Congress, uh, encourage us to build up much more military power to assist you. Uh, can I ask you on that point? Uh, do you uh, uh, encourage us to do, or uh, it's completely our business, so you have no uh, uh, interest uh, in comment on that, sir? We enjoy the uh, alliance and the sharing of responsibility for security with the people of Japan, but the level of your defense commitments is a uh, domestic uh, matter, yes, a decision to be made by the Japanese people. We trust your judgment and we have full confidence in you. Yeah. Next. After the summit in Tokyo, you are going to visit Korea. Yes. Have you any schedule to meet with Mr. Kim Dae Jun in Korea? I will be meeting not only with uh, President Park, but also the leaders uh, of the opposition, uh, both within the government, the religious leaders, and others. Uh, this has been my custom whenever I visit a foreign country, and I look forward to continuing this custom uh, in Korea. It mean, uh um, opposition, the party people in Korea, you're going to meet them? Yes, I will. Mm. Oh, it might be a very popular action in, uh, in Japan and uh, in other countries in Asia. I think. Well, we are committed, as we have been for the last uh, quarter century, to uh, peace and stability in the Korean Peninsula, and we have no intention of abandoning this responsibility. What we uh, would ultimately like to see are the leaders of North and South Korea negotiating directly with one another, either with or without our own presence, uh, to reach an accommodation with one another. But until that uh, happy event can uh, come to be, uh, we will continue to maintain an American presence, presence there to keep the uh, balance of power intact uh, within the Korean Peninsula to ensure peace. 
Do you have uh, at this time uh, any desire to visit China soon? Yes, I would like to visit China within the next 12 months or so. Uh, I will not go this year. Uh, our vice president will go to China uh, this year. But I have uh, received an invitation to visit China uh, from Chairman Hua and Vice Premier Deng Xiaoping. And I have told them that when the uh, occasion permits, hopefully within the next 12 months, I would like to visit China. On uh, general terms, uh, uh, you are optimistic uh, on uh, uh, relations between Japan and the United States. Uh, Very much so, yes. No uh, future, any uh, danger or any trap, anything you do not uh, foresee, anticipate? No. We are independent countries, uh, each uh, making its own decisions. But we have so many things in common and we have such an easy ability to communicate with each other and to address uh, any disputes or differences immediately before they become a crisis that I can see no possibility in the future of uh, serious differences arising between our two countries. Personally, I got surprised uh, so much you know about Japan and the emperor. How uh, did you learn that? You knew from uh, before? Did you make a quick uh, study, sir? No, I have uh, been interested in Japan and have studied about Japan for many years. I was in Japan briefly in 1975, and because of my own responsibilities as President of the United States, I've long recognized the importance to us of Japan. We have many visitors here from Japan, and we have many Americans who go to Japan. So because of my, our common interest, this has aroused my own uh, study of Japan. I have been uh, interested in the emperor's uh, poems, uh, not only himself, but his uh, grandfather and others, and, and how simple and beautiful they are as expressions of the basic philosophy of the Japanese people, a, a quiet a dignity, a reverence for the historical characteristics of the nation, a, a willingness to accommodate change with uh, assurance and confidence and uh, hard work and dedication, a peaceful inclination toward one another, a calmness and, and grace, an awareness and an appreciation for the uh, natural beauty of the earth, uh, these kinds of uh, uh, expressions in the emperor's uh, poems have been very uh, interesting to me. In addition, his, uh, his, his uh, accomplishments as a scientist have been uh, of great interest. I have a scientific background myself, and so that's one reason that I'm very excited about having a chance to meet him personally. Thank you. Mr. President. Yes. Could you copy directly to the viewer your message uh, in this occasion. Yes, I'd be glad. Mm. I think I'll look at the people yes. that are directed. On behalf of the 220 million people who live in the United States of America, I want to express to the people of Japan, first of all, our great and unswerving friendship, a recognition that we share common uh, commitments, common goals, common problems, a common ideals, and a common future in the area of uh, common security, uh, trade, commerce, education, culture, tourism, science. In all these areas of life, uh, we have much in common. In addition, we share a belief in the worth of individual human beings in uh, democratic principles, in a search for peace, in the worth of each person. I am very grateful for a chance to come to your great country to bring my own wife and my daughter. Uh, we look forward to seeing as much of you individually as uh, possible, to learning about uh, your beautiful country so that we can bring back to the United States an even fuller uh, realization of uh, what you have been uh, down through history 
what you are today and the glorious future that I know is in store for the people of, of the great country of Japan. The Economic Summit Conference, which will be held uh, in Tokyo, is indeed a tribute to you, to the uh, great accomplishments of your leaders now and in the past, and of the recognition of Japan's role of leadership uh, in the world. And I'm very grateful to be part of this recognition uh, of your glorious achievements now and in the future. So as a friend, uh, I tell you that we are looking forward to being with you uh, in the next uh, few days. And I believe that both uh, my nation and yours might very well benefit from the exchange of views between the leaders of our two countries. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. <coughs> On behalf of NHK and its viewer, I'm very thanks to you for taking the time to interview with me. And <coughs> also, we extend our best wish for the successful visit to our country. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I've Thank enjoyed the interview. Uh, we are going to uh, cover entirely alive mm. your meeting with Japanese people in Shimoda. Oh, good, good. Mm. Uh, completely alive. And, uh, oh, we look forward to that. Mm. Yes, sir. And uh, myself, I'm going down there to comment on that. And, uh, Japanese press quite well uh, well received your advance down there. And, uh, okay. quite you well. think it's a good place for me to go and visit? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. I think we're going to have a chance for some quiet uh, time to eat a meal and to visit with some of the people there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, this is a very exciting prospect for us. Thank I you. look forward to seeing you there. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, Ann. Uh, one minute. Can I show uh, the, uh, the newspapers how are the Japanese uh, uh, treat your uh, yeah. advancement? Well, we can uh, give that to Phil. We can send oh, is that? Later. Oh, is that? Oh. Yeah, they had to say, I think I could kind of just say the commander was pretty. Yes, sir. And uh, at the show, yeah. if uh, I think uh, it's my proposal and suggestion, if uh, you can talk to uh, the Japanese, all the Japanese people like this, you know, yeah. uh, after you some, uh, have the, some initial uh, experience in Japan, uh, it, uh, three minutes or five minutes, it's much more effective uh, to, to promote your image. Good, I look forward to that. Okay. Thank you, both. Oh. Right. Thank you, Thank you so much.
I guess. Just come forward a little bit, and then we won't be so close to the okay. wall. Yeah. Is this all right? Are you happy? At this level? Is this all right? カーター大統領の今度の訪日の日程はまだ正式には全部決まっておりませんしかし今決まっておりますところでは23日アメリカ時間の23日午後12時55分に
ワシントンの郊外にありますアンドリュース空軍基地を立ちましてアラスカのアメリカ空軍基地を経由いたしまして14時間45分後に日本時間にいたしますと日本時間の24日午後6時に東京に着くことになっております宿舎はアメリカのマンスフィールド大使の住居となっておりましてその後25日26日そして27日と3日間カタ大統領が今インタビューで答えていただきましたように民衆レベル国民レベルとの接触を重点に置きました活動を続けることになっております歌舞伎を見に行くこともその一つでありますしそれから下田での国民との対話あるいはかつてのアメリカ領事館の訪問など盛りだくさんの行事が組み込まれておりますその間に大平首相との日米首脳会談も行われますその後28日と29日2日間首脳会談,首脳会談がありまして全日程の終了後韓国そしてハワイを経由いたしましてワシントンへ戻ってくることになっております